Alright guys, this is going to be kicking off my uh, Learning to Fly With Me series. You're going to follow me from uh, hour zero officially to hopefully hour 40, uh, however long it takes me to get my private pilot's license. Um, just a disclaimer, you must uh, affiliate yourself with a actual uh, certified instructor to receive training for flying an airplane, so don't take anything that either my instructor or I um, say as uh, actual instruction, uh, but just rather opinions. So it is the night before my first flight lesson. Just a little backstory on I me. Mean, I've been completely fascinated with aviation my whole entire life, and uh, so this is just something I've always wanted to do. Um, I've been, I've flown on flight simulators, and I've actually flown a Cessna 172 a few times, and technically I have uh, two hours logged in a Cessna 172. Um, under dual instruction. So I do have a general understanding of uh, many things in aviation, such as uh, how an airplane flies, why it flies, and uh, just basics of uh, you know communication and um, how to land and stuff like that. So um, obviously I don't know everything, but I do uh, know a great deal about uh, basic uh, aerodynamics and the way that things fly. All right guys, so I want to be completely prepared for my flight lesson as much as I possibly can. I do want to show the flight instructors, you know, that I am serious about this and whatnot. So what I have done is I've uh, made myself a little diagram here just to get familiar with this airport. This is an airport that I've never flown in and or out of, uh, and I've actually never been to it either. So I'm just getting familiar with uh, the airport layout here. Um, and I'm getting all this information from this uh, free app called Flight Plan Go. And uh, so what I did here is I looked up KFUL, uh, Fullerton Municipal. And what I did is it gives me all the information that I need about this airport. So I can go here and look at uh, frequencies. So it gives me all the ATIS frequencies, ground, tower, uh, runways, and uh, procedures. I can look at the airport diagram itself. This is where I got the uh, airport diagram. So you can see all the taxiways, uh, field elevation, uh, active runways, and everything like that. So, in order for me to get familiar with this, I went ahead and made this diagram, recreated it in person. Um, so this is what I have. I have runway 6 here. I have runway length at 31, 21 uh, feet and 75 foot wide. Runway 24 here. I have all the taxiways, um, orientation, runway elevation at 96 feet. I have all the important frequencies here, the ATIS, ground, tower, and then I just have some remarks. Um, if you're flying, or if you're landing at uh, runway 6, you're going to fly a left traffic, and if you uh, are landing on runway 24, you're going to run a right traffic. So uh, this is just kind of some stuff uh, that we're going to learn together about what this actually all is. And uh, yeah, so my first step here is to be prepared for your flight lesson. So if I don't have anything here, then I will see you guys at Fullerton tomorrow morning. Let's go ahead, required documents, arrow. Got it. So airmen's registration are in the aircraft. I was actually just looking at the weight and balance. The weight and balance is in this Hobbs book. Okay. Right? Sure. And then here's our Hobbs time. You know, it's 27.0. Yep. Alright, control lock. Alright, so pull that. And you can just put it down there. I usually there's a little pocket up front or right here. Uh, oh, right, right, right there. there. That way you can see it when we get out of the airplane. Yeah. And you remember to put it back in. Alright, and nothing for the rudders. Just the nope. okay. Yeah, just Alright, so, avionics ignition switch is off. And then the ignition's down there. Okay. Uh, prop area, clear. Yeah, the checklist says, you know, make sure the prop's not there when you right. turn the master switch on. Alright, master switch on. Alright. Alright, fuel gauges check and request fuel if low. Okay. They typically are for fuel topped off, you okay. know, for every flight. Alright, and general rule of thumb, don't trust those gauges, right? Exactly. Okay. Alright, flaps. But they have to show something. Okay. If they show empty, then, uh, you, you know, they're, yeah, they're either empty or you got a problem. Okay, flaps down. Alright, so, so just, okay. we'll just hold it and drop them all the way So down. what's our increments in terms of seconds for... Four seconds. Four for... A slow four seconds. Okay. Right, so if you're up here, right, and then this gauge is like mediocre at best, but one, two, three, four. And that's... There's ten. Ten, okay. Yeah, and it shows, that shows almost ten. Let's see, you go like this? No. No, okay. no, no, it's at 50. 1, 2, 3, 4. There's 20. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4. 30. 1, 2, 3, 4. 40. Perfect. Alright, so we'll pre-fly with 40. Okay. Uh, master switch off. Alright. Uh, 
And Hobbs meter, record. We, we did. Check that. Good. Okay. Empanage. Baggage door. Close. So this oh. one starts with the baggage door, works its way around. We'll do that this time around. Okay. I typically will check fuel and oil first and then start and work my right. do my work around. You don't want that too too tight. You still want to be able to reach down and be able to put the, the fuel selector yep. and okay, cool. Alright. Okay, seatbelt's locked and latched. That you know close exactly. And then when you close it, you don't have to slam it. It just pulls nice and then you know, yep. there it goes down. Alright, doors going there you go. <laughs> okay, alright. Close, locks, feels like it. Brakes, test and set. So you can so you can just push down on your toes. Pressure. Make sure there's pressure. Okay. Yep. Got okay. it. And uh, we have a parking brake. Um, parking brake's between your knees. I just make sure it's set in the off position. Okay. Circuit breakers, check. And all right. So all the suckers in. Last. All right. All right. Uh, electrical equipment, autopilot off. No autopilot. No autopilot. Okay. Uh, avionics power switch off. That Verifies is right that. here. Avionics off. off. Uh, fuel selector. Both. We are on both, and then grab the keys. And fuel shutoff valve on. In. Fuel shutoff valve. That is uh, right here. Both. Oh, and we don't have an uh, actual off off. Okay. Throttle open a quarter of an inch. Valve okay. there. Perfect. Okay, mixture rich. Does that twist? Okay. Uh, oh, no, you this one it. doesn't twist, it just you push and pull. Okay. Okay, carb heat. If we're cold, we're gonna be in. So carb we'll heat's in. In. Okay. Prime as required. So this airplane, you, uh, all my airplanes, if you pump the throttle twice, it'll fire two blades. So pump it twice. Uh, as soon as we're ready to turn the engine over. Okay. Let's give it a couple seconds. Auxiliary fuel pump on. Don't have. Don't have. Okay. Uh, propeller area clear. We are clear. That ladder is out of the way. Master switch on. Beacon on. So we got all our lights here. Okay, so beacon is on. Ignition start. And throttle adjust 1000 RPM. Okay. Alright, so we're going to pump the throttle twice. All right, you got the key, you stick the key in there, spikes facing down. All right. All right. So we're gonna go two pumps. Yeah, pump the pulse twice, clear prop, and start. There you right, go. Keep it out at a quarter. Just a quarter inch. Okay. Clear prop. And right, we'll keep our hand on the throttle, yep. just in case. Mike on your left from uh typically okay. yeah Alright Alright so we go next set here Exactly starting engine throttle all quarter of uh, maybe beacon light was on beacon light that we always leave on yeah. right ignition start throttle oil pressure check fuel pump we don't have avionics masters on radios are on, radios on. right hit enter enter on this sucker yep. 19 one and 21, 8. All right, so we got ground and tower there. And then we have eight is down here. Perfect. All righty. Transponder, standby. Transponder, altitude 1200. Yep. Flaps up, so we'll bring All those right. up. Perfect. All righty. Uh, how do you say that? Am amateur? Am amateur. Amateur. Yeah, am amateur. Okay, yeah. Okay, gotcha. Uh, and what, we're just looking for a positive charge there? Exactly. Okay. Uh, heading indicator set. Uh, we'll worry about that when we do the run up. Sure. Yeah. Alrighty. Uh, ADIS, A1. Alright, so let's All get right, our ADIS. So we get the ADIS, so there it is right there. We can either push COM2 to, to, to monitor it, okay. or if we want to get rid of COM1, we just go to COM2. Okay. Oh, okay. Altimeter. 
two nine or eight nine or yeah. four alpha approaching use landing departing runway two four notice to airmen the pilot four control four lighting feature for the runway two four approach lighting for system out of service hazardous weather information for the southern california region available on high loss and flight service frequencies advise on initial contact you have your information quebec Go ahead and listen through that one more time. I didn't get much of it. Fortin Airport information, exactly. Quebec time 1853 Zulu. Wind calm, visibility 10. Sky clear. Temperature 25, 2.14. Altimeter 29 or 89 er. DOR Alpha approaching use. Landing departing runway 24. Notice to airmen. The pilot control lighting feature for the runway 24 approach lighting system out of service. Hazardous weather information for the Southern yeah, California region available on our right launch flight service frequencies. Eight, nine, eight, nine, eight, nine, eight, oh, eight, nine, initial eight, contact there you information. And we're, eight, eight, and we're at 96 feet, so. That's what I got. Yep. Perfect. All right, so we have information. Fortin Airport information, Quebec time 186. Okay. So we'll turn off comm 2. Okay. And then uh, we'll flip it over. To that. Okay, so there's ground. Ground 121.8. All right. Alright, we ready to go? Absolutely. Alright, so I'm just gonna run it through you here. So, uh, what are we? So, Fuller to ground, ground. Number 64460. Do you like to include Cessna before? You can. Okay, yeah. Cessna 64460 at uh, ground aviation. What are we? Ground, general aviation. The general aviation ramp, ready to taxi to 24 run up with information Quebec. Perfect. Alright. And so the button's right here on your pointer finger. Right here. Just press it. Exactly. Yep. All right. Do they have a hard time hearing with the windows open. Nope. Or just talk loud. Yeah. Yeah. You don't even have to. Okay. All right. Fullerton Ground, Cessna six four four six zero at uh, General Aviation Ramp, ready to taxi to the two four run up area with information Quebec. Cessna six four four six zero, full ground runway two four run up, taxi Alpha. Two four run up via Alpha. Taxi via Alpha for six four four six zero. Alright, right, so uh, yeah, I was holding the brakes. Yeah, we'll turn right. right. Alpha is this. Oh, you got Alpha on your. Yeah. I have no window. So, I have no window, so my door stays yeah, yeah, open. Would we like to taxi out a thousand or? Yeah, if we can. I, we pull, I pull back the uh, yoke to go over this bump. Oh, okay. A little yeah, bump there. Exactly. Okay. So if we want to slow down while taxiing, do we go below a thousand or we just use brakes past uh, that point? First step is, yeah, power back and the second step is brakes, yeah. Okay. The engine won't cut out oh. if you uh, go. It better not. <laughs> yeah. If you do, you got bigger problems. Exactly. Well, and that's one thing that I do uh, in my run-up is I check power all the way out, make sure the engine keeps running. Gotcha. You know, I've had engines that died, and I was like, nope, we'll taxi back and that's get the eight idle zero adjusted. Two three eight. They're a half mile final spacing, perfect. Did you control the volume going through the headsets? Is it loud or quiet? A little quiet. Yeah, here, we'll just turn the volume up there. My volume, there's, that's as loud as I can get in your headset. Okay, that's cool. That guy's pretty high. Okay, so here's our run-up. It starts there at Charlie, and it goes here to the uh, the building. Okay. And so we're going to slide in here, and I park in the back side of this. Uh, all right, so right rudder, right, a little right brake. Okay. Flip around. And uh, the wind's generally coming about 200, so we'll just point this direction. And if you take a look under our wing, there's the windsock. So I'll just kind of point the you know towards general again. Okay. So we get right in here. Sure. Perfect. Nose wheel straight, and we'll do a run up. All righty. Where'd that check? Yeah, there we go. All righty. Run up, run up, run up. Where are you heading? Uh, for the six four seven. Oh no, no, before, before takeoff. Taxi Bravo. Take Parking brake set. That's our toes. Toes. Okay. Cabin door is closed and locked. Uh. Yeah. Well. Not me. Get that before. <laughs> uh. Seatbelts adjust and locked. Okay. Seatbelts check. Check. Yep. Flight control is free and correct. Alright, left, right. And back, left, right. Alright, looks good to me. Uh, instruments set, alright. Instruments, okay, so I just check everything. Zero, erect at level, yep. 
Uh, altimeter 29 or 8, or, yeah, 8, 9 or boom, you know, within 60 or within 75 feet to be IFR. Uh, vertical speed 0, suction, we'll do suction when we do run up, but, you know, suction gauges typically, you know, look at that, 1000 RPM comes up. Um, alright, check that, 210, so if you want to turn that about 5 degrees. The right. So push it in, yeah, and to the right. Just a little. Out of the way. Alright, uh, cool. There we go. And then, um, airplanes uh, level, no flag, and balls full of fluid. Yep. Alright. Ready? Uh, fuel quantity, check. Fuel quantity, same. They're we indicating got, what they have. Alright, we got fuel shutoff valve on. Don't have a fuel yeah, shutoff valve on. Both there. Mixture rich. Mixture is rich. Yep. Ready, fuel, uh, elevator trim, set for takeoff. Um, generally speaking, here's neutral. Okay. Is that that? I have about one swipe. One swipe up? Yeah. Perfect. Yeah, okay, down. Yeah, I know it's down, swipe yep. up. Yep. Alrighty, throttle, 1800 RPM. Okay, so take the throttle. I usually go 17. The POH actually says 17, this checklist says 18, but 17, 18, whatever. Let's get it up there. Okay, there's 17. Okay. Alright, magnetos. So yes, so alright. So we're looking for a, how many drop on uh, the... Less than 125, you know, less than 50 between them. Alright, so there's left, drop, back to both. There. Yeah. Alrighty. Suction gauge. Check. Good. Engine instruments in the green. Green, green. Yeah. <laughs> One, two, three. Taxi general off again. Alrighty. Um. Let's see. Amp meter. Four seven right. Four seven. Four seven. Four seven. Four seven. Take off. Four seven. Four seven. Four seven. Altitude. So we're gonna go full rich on. Full rich. Yeah. Yep. Uh. Carb heat on. Carb heat. So full carb heat. Okay. We're looking for the same drop. Yeah. Okay, and then Perfect. we put that back in? Yeah. Okay. Alrighty, enunciator panel clear. We don't have an enunciator panel, do we? No enunciator panel. Okay. Uh, okay, throttle back to a thousand. Alright, and then we'll do this pull power all the way out and make sure it idles. There's idle. Yep. Alrighty, throttle friction lock, adjust. That's this guy That's right there. That's pretty good there. Yeah. Uh, strobe lights. We'll go strobe lights on. Uh, radios and avionics set. So, are we going to be handed off to anyone after this? No, what will happen is when we flip this over um, to tower, I'll just put the uh, law of refractory frequency, 23.3 in there. Gotcha, and that's just a unicom to talk on? Exactly, okay. yeah. Alrighty. Um, Autopilot, no autopilot. Flaps set for takeoff. What are we doing on takeoff here? Uh, flaps up. Flaps up? Yeah, right. short field, soft field, flaps go. Alrighty, parking brake released. Foot on the brake and uh, windows closed. You gotta wait till we uh, take the runway to do that or you wanna do it? Exactly. You know, when we, when we go to call, we'll do lights, camera, action. Okay. Alright, so do they like call, uh, call from the run up to the um, hold short? Yep, we, we tell them because we're still on ground. Yep. 460, run up complete. Right close traffic okay. approved, runway 24, take takeoff, line 2308. Alright, so we're ready there. Is he going to reply to them? Uh, he's on tower also, he's running both frequencies. Oh, okay. That's gotcha. the funny part about it, yeah. Gotcha. Full city ground, coast ground helicopter 6545. Is that the city park or city spot uh, requesting uh, takeoff from Alpha westbound VFR? Helicopter 6545, forward 10 ground, hold your position, traffic departing full length, we'll get you out momentarily. 6545, hold in position with information from Quebec. Alright, 460, run up complete. Fullerton ground, Cessna 64460, run up complete, ready for taxi to 24. Uh, 64460, runway 24, taxi Alpha. Taxi via Alpha 460. Alright, cool. 647, extend that one for two departures. We'll get a little power, we'll go over this bump. There you go. I'm gonna bump, bump, over the right rudder. Spin the sucker around. Coast Guard 6545, Cessna midfield upwind is a right close traffic, westbound departure approved, runway 24, intersection echo, cleared for takeoff, wind 2307. Hey, Coast Guard 6545, Roger, thanks for uh, runway 24, ex uh, intersection echo, cleared for takeoff. Be advised, Coast Guard's uh, transmitting on ground. Well, 
What'd you tell him right there? That Coast Guard is transmitting on ground. Oh, he got okay. clear for takeoff. He don't get clear for takeoff on ground. Right, right, right. You gotta go but since ground. it's the same dude on ground, ground and tower. It gets a little. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that makes sense. All right. What's our? Uh, what are we pitching for here on takeoff? Um, actually, we're rotating about 55, 60. Okay. 60 we're off the ground. Um, this thing flies slower than. Six four four six zero. Say your departure intention. Uh, right downwind departure. We're gonna be a right downwind departure for four six zero. Cessna 647, base turn approved. Cessna departing south side prior to your arrival. Runway right, 24 so clear. launch us before. Base turn approved. Runway 24 cleared. Land will launch for traffic. So right, and then you can take the checklist. Four, show me the order. 45, runway 24, echo clear for takeoff. Get rid of this. 645, clear for takeoff, fan echo. Alright, so watch Coast Guard. He's got us holding chart for this guy here. No, actually for the Coast Guard that's taking off. So if you want to go away. Land 80238. Cessna 64460, traffic mile and a half right base, Skyhawk, caution road to watch for a dolphin departed a midfield there westbound. Right down when approved, runway 24, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, 460. Cessna 25, self once established on the left down when you're number three, following a Skyhawk. Right down when just past the approach numbers, runway 24, clear to land, wind 2506. Hey, number three, uh, too far to land. Anything to watch for for the prop watch there? Uh, see all that dust and dirt? Yeah. That's where the rotor wash is going to be. Okay. Did I expect anything on that or just... Uh, just maybe a little bit of a bump. Alright, so we'll get out here, we'll slide our feet all the way off the brakes. Yep. Alright, and full power. Right rudder. Exactly. Alright, take off power set. Alright, engine in case it's normal. Yeah. Alright, there's... 50, start pulling back. By 60, we should be wheels up. There we go. And then keep those wings level. And there's going to be our wake turbulence yep. right there. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. Alright, what are we pitching for here? Uh, we're pitching for about 75 to 80. Okay. There's 80. We'll turn our spokes down. There we go. Or tower to fight golf. Uh, no joy on that uh, traffic in front of me. Can you let me know when he makes a uh, base turn and I can see him? Or two five golf. He's way up right base to final now, about uh, a mile right base. I'll call your base. Uh, thank you, sir. I appreciate it. Two five golf. Out here. I can fight two five golf. Or two five golf. Thank you. I'm All right. And then we'll turn here. Turn right. Yeah, I forgot to tell you. Like we turn at uh, Carl's Jr. Tower. Yeah, stay inside the KFI death stick. Hey, Sarah, Coast Guard 6545, request frequency change. Coast Guard 6545, frequency change, please see ya. 6545, thanks for helping you. Alright, and we'll level the wings. Alright, there's crosswind, check our airspeed looks good, yep. check our altitude. Six Look under our wing. Yep. Runway 24, taxi, we'll echo, bravo, traffic, so fine. Runway 24, right taxi, echo, bravo. Exactly. Okay. 65647. I can definitely see where the noise canceling would help. Oh, yeah. And a forward charge. If I call my clear for that uh, base, I uh, was kind of left open. Yeah, 25 to your discretion if you have the traffic in sight. Third line. Alright, level of wings. I'm There's our downwind. Are leveling off anywhere? Or? Yeah. We'll climb up to 3,000. than my desert air. <laughs> oh, unless it's like mid-summer. Yeah, exactly. It can get, it can get pretty choppy yeah, out there. Choppy. But yeah. My practice yeah, area there was the... over the uh, Salton Sea. Oh, okay. So it was smooth. Over there. Yeah. Yep, yeah, so we're trying to climb at 80. Alright, we got five, six hundred feet a minute. Pretty trimmed out right now. Yeah, this thing flies so through. All That's right, nice. gotta remember to enjoy the view a little bit, right? <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So we got four to behind us. Turn two nine eight seven. That's not two three eight. Romeo two four. Taxi Bravo. Two four. Bravo two three eight. Need to be 
be flying a certain heading here, or just kind of just keep that. Well, it was zero six zero or St. Jude. Hold on, though, before you do that, is is downwind. Okay. To get to the practice area, yeah, we break off about zero three zero and kind of head over towards the mountains here. And we use our mountains as our points for doing uh, slow flight, power off stalls, kind of okay. whatever. You just kind of point at a mountain and do them. Okay. Up here. Yeah. Then we're going through this inversion layer. Watch, oh, it might even get warmer up here. Oh, really? <laughs> I don't know. I I only flew 2,000 feet to Long Beach. God, they had me circling so over the 91605. Okay. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Then he got mad at me for like going too far south on the 605. I was like, dude, I'm holding. <laughs> like whatever. Five six four seven right close traffic. Approved runway two four clear for takeoff. Wing two eight zero four. Kinda interesting oh, wait, to me how the uh, airspeed fluctuates yeah. so much. Oh, that, that is a frequency change approved. Oh, sorry, okay. Yeah, frequency change approved. Uh, frequency change approved for 460. There we go. Alright, so we'll go to the uh, law of the 23.3. There we go. We need to announce anything about our, how we're there, or just kind of Once we get into it, okay. I will. Yeah. Right. What do we have for airports around us? So, the good question. There's the 91 freeway down there, right? Yep. So, south of the 91 is Charlie or space for John Wayne. Okay. So we never go south of John or Charlie or 91 freeway for Charlie. Sure. Um, the 5760 just barely, yeah, the 60 uh, kisses Ontario's airspace. Okay. I kind of hang out kind of a little close to Ontario's airspace, but, you know, not dangerous or anything like that. Um, Bravo airspace, right about here, let's see, we can zoom out. Here's, we're, we're right underneath a Bravo 4000 shelf. Okay. So there's 3000, we'll get power back to 2000 RPM. I will hold 3,000. The Bravo 4,000 foot shelf is right here. I generally am on the other side of the 4,000 shelf. I've seen 7.4s up here at 4,500 feet. You know, you're like, so there's no need to be that far away from them. You know, they're like that 7.3 right there. Yeah. Yeah, he's probably like 9 grand. Yeah. You know, so but are usually we, uh, they're up high okay. and then they, you know, drop in. Um, uh, speed here for... Uh Generally speaking, it's going to be like 85, yeah. maybe close to 90. Yeah. So if we got a little bit of a climb, we'll just pull back a little bit. Yeah. So this frequency is Rialto Prax area, Santa Fe Prax area, Mojave Prax area. Right? It's called Santa Fe. That's usually the 210 and north. Right? El Monte, Bracket used that 210 north of Santa Fe Prax area. Right. Right, we use kind of in here. AFI likes tucking in over here where the Bravo goes to 2500 and the Bravo is 4000. I generally go from the Industry Hotel right there, okay. which is an easy landmark. You got 72 yeah. holes of PGA golf right there. Yeah. Um, and then we got uh, the 5760 parking lot over here. Alright, got two freeways that merge for like a mile and a half. It's always jammed. Yeah. Um, that being said, and I just kind of chill on the 60 freeway here. So what we'll do is, hey, we're pointing at Mount Baldy right there. Um, what we'll do is we'll do slow flight. So, for a slow flight, I power back to 1,500. So you go power and then flaps, flaps, power. So we'll go power 1,500. Alright, power. We got our point picked out there. It happens to be about 0, 030, 0, but if we're just pointing at it, we're good. Trying to maintain level here? Exactly. Actually, the nose kind of comes up. So 1,500 RPM, nose comes up. And then slow down, don't go down. Right? And then go ahead and do flaps. Go four seconds. Uh, one. Oh. Alright. That's about ten. Now go another four seconds flaps. One. Two. Four. Perfect. And we'll do one more notch flaps. Alright. Cool deal. Um, 
and now we'll go, and let's actually we'll descend to 3,000. So, uh, with this power setting, we're going to descend. Okay. As we get close to 3,000, then we'll go power back to 2,000 RPM. Okay. Alright, so it's 3,000, go to 2,000 RPM. Nice and easy, power in, power in, power in. Alright, we need right rudder. Okay. Point us right at that mountain. Feet control the nose, so that's just going to kind of point sure. us where we're on. Keep our aileron to keep the wings level. So slow flight, we're brinking right on, kind of, controls are getting sloppy. Exactly. It's telling the airplane what to do, reacting to the airplane. Okay? And we're keeping that ball centered. Yep. I usually don't talk about the ball until like the second, third, fourth lesson. See how our nose drifted this yep. way? Watch, if you just slam on a bunch of right rudder, guess what? Right. Put us almost back on our point. Yeah, I think I'm being too easy on the rudder. Side. Exactly. Yeah, it's just right rudder. You know, there's no left involved in slow flight. There's a stall warning horn, so we ride right off of that stall warning horn. Mm. Uh, yeah. So the conditions aren't giving us the best for... Yeah, I remember the slow low. flight, I was just... Power. Just cruising right there. Exactly. And what we'll do is we'll go full power. Let's try and get it back to 3,000. Okay. Right rudder. So when we're doing these altitude deviations in slow flight, we're still maintaining slow flight. We're just trying to get our altitude by going into... Just, yeah, but it's about maintaining heading, it's about maintaining altitude. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Now we're gaining a little bit. A little bit. <laughs> Do you like to trim in slow flight or just yeah. pitch for it? Yeah, just yeah, just a little by bit. By the time you're out of it. It shouldn't be too much. I got a lot of nose down right now, so that's why I was... I'll let the nose come up a little bit. And then we have to get on to San Antonio College. Pump up the altitude. But it's because we have so much power in. Yeah. Yeah. 45 at good speed right now? Yeah, exactly. Because 40 seemed to be where the star yeah, warning came right. on. There we go. Now we're back at altitude. Now we can back out a little bit of power and you won't have to push down so much. Okay. Go back to 2,000? Yeah. 2,000, 2,100. Go in there. There we go. Alright. And to recover, go full power and flaps up a little bit, right? So they go up faster than they come down. So go ahead and go up four seconds. One, two, three, four. All right, neutral. Let the airplane recover. Okay. Don't want to necessarily sink. Now you kind of push the nose down a little bit. We got lots of airspeed. Flaps all the way up. Just let it run. And yeah, let them come up. And then just keep that nose under control. Okay, we got flaps up. Perfect. There we go. All right, back to 3,000, 85 miles an hour, power back, power back, power back. About 2,000 RPM should give us level. There's a slow flight. Yep. So what we'll do is we'll turn back over towards um, Santiago Peak over here. Stand up, my friend, dude. Andrew, I'm Tim Mike Romeo, just San Antonio College, 3,400. Follow 10th freeway. Uh, yeah, Mountie. Stand up, my friend. Going for this peak here? Exactly. We'll point over towards that. I'll just have you do slow flight. Go into slow flight, hold it, and maybe we'll turn, and then we'll recover. Then we'll move on. Alright, so we got 3,000 here. We're going to go power back to, well, we're already at 2. So we're going to 1,500, right? Exactly. Power 15. And flaps four seconds. There you go. One, two, three, four. Okay. One, two, three, four. And then okay. power again. Let that nose come up also. We're kind of losing a little bit of altitude. And then go one more time. Four seconds. One, two, three, four. Alright, good. Now power back 2,000. Now I just hold that altitude and hold that heading. Alright. Alright. A little bit more power. Yeah. Okay. There, since we are a little bit low, and you saw even full power, we climbed like 100 feet a minute right, or something. Yeah, it wasn't much. Yeah. 
Alright, and then watch what happens. So say I tell you turn heading 210. Okay. So we make a right turn heading 210. This is as east as I go in the practice area. The Charlie airspace starts right where that little puddle is. See that lake right there? Yep. You draw a line from that lake up to like kind of, you know, up back behind us. That's Charlie. Alright, so we'll give it a little bit more power. We're sinking. There's 210, coming up slow flight means slow turns. Okay. Good. A little overshot. A little more power. Alright. Now hold on out seat. Alright, and then to recover, full power. Full power. Flaps up a little bit. One, two, three, four. Alright. Get a little more airspeed. Two, three, four. All right. Bring them all the way. That's pretty much. Yeah, and then just keep it from sinking because you have plus or minus 100 feet. Okay, gotcha. See how we just went like that? Yeah. That's like, oh, almost yeah, not okay. passing. There we go. Alright. There's 3,000. We're headed 210. Alright, so now we've seen slow flight. We know that this airplane, the stall warning doesn't come on until like 40. Right. Maybe a little below that. All right. Want to go back to two one zero? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And sometimes we can pick out a point out this direction, but it looks like uh, we got nice and smog action that we can't see crap. So what we'll do is let's to make a right turn. We'll turn over to Strawberry Peak, which is kind of that last point that's over there. Uh, that, la that first or last peak, whatever you want, you want to consider it. That's Strawberry Peak, and then that's Mount Wilson. Mount Wilson has all the antennas on it. Alright. Cool. So we're going to do a power off stall. Okay. So power off stall simulating a landing stall. So you actually, you know, the same setup as slow flight, except you do descent, right? Okay. So we'll go power to 1500. Okay. We're going to back out power, and then we'll do 10 degrees of flaps. One, One two, four. One thing I neglected to say is that we make sure we're in that white arc. Well, Everything we're doing right. will be in that white arc, but right, right. all right. So there's a slight descent. All right, we are descending. Good. Another four seconds of flaps. One. Good. And then the last notch of flaps. Alright, cool. So our point is Starberry Peak, we're descending, right? Kind of descending. And we'll pull back power all the way. And we pull back the yoke. And the yoke comes back, comes back, comes back. We need to get a full aggravated stall. So, I'm going to pull back, pull back, pull back until you get an actual buffet. This airplane takes a little bit of effort. Get up, get up, get up. There it is. Full power. Nose to the horizon, flaps up a little bit. Alright, and then neutral. Then let it climb. As soon as you have positive rate, then we'll pull the rest of the flaps up. There's positive rate, flaps up. Alright, keep that nose uh, keep that nose up a little bit. We don't want to sink. I'm back to 3,000. Okay. That wasn't bad. Do you want to do another one? Yep. Alright. That was a good idea. So, even though your major corrections in altitude and, uh, are with your throttle and pitch is speed, you still, if you're, you know, you're losing uh, altitude, altitude, you still need to pitch up for it, but you need to have the power to do it. Exactly. Power is to recover. Um, pitches to gain airspeed, but then um, as we pull up our flaps, you know, we need to maintain our airspeed by holding like kind of a constant pitch okay. or angle of attack to the air. Alright. Says 460, 3000 feet over Covina landfill, uh, north westbound. Alright. Alright. 3000, 3000 feet. 
Alright, this is the Covina landfill over here. Okay. Right? I like to name the landfills. This is a Covina landfill because they actually have names. Um, that's the Plenty Hills landfill. Um, and there's a Brea landfill. So if somebody says you're over the, they're over the landfill, it's like, well, there's three of them, assholes. <laughs> Take your pick. Okay. So this is the Covina landfill. That's the industry hotel over there. Okay, so power off, stall. Power back to 1500. Set. Wait for her to like settle down. All right, and then yeah. Set and then idle. Uh, yep. There we go. Powers all the way out. All right, and then we pull back, pull back, pull back, pull back, pull back. There's the horn and on, <laughs> yeah, look at that. zero on the airspeed. Okay, nose down, full power, right rudder, flaps up a little bit, and neutral. There we are. Wait for the vertical speed to come up. There it is. Flaps up. Actually, what we'll do is we'll go flaps like ten. Now it'll really kind of climb out. Yep. And then now flaps all the way up. Alright. Now what we'll do is we'll turn, uh, 150. Yeah, so that's the Santa Fe Dam, and we're kind of getting into the Santa Fe price area, not that it matters. But yeah. Now we'll get up to 3000, we'll turn heading 150. Alright, so let that nose come up. Oh, uh -huh. if we need to just encourage the nose to come up. There you go. We'll get to 3,000 and we'll be able to pull power back. Pull the power back right at 3,000 or a little bit? A little bit for, yeah. And we'll turn, eh, 150, 140, we'll point back at San Diego Peak. Turn another, you know, 15, 20 degrees. Point it, it's on the other peak. We'll do one more power off stall, and then we'll do steep turn left, steep turn right, and back to Fullerton. I actually got three people from Cal State Florida and called me up. Oh, really? Yeah. You, a guy named Gino, and a guy named, uh, Jeff. Awesome. I was like, alright, cool. <laughs> that and then what I do is I work with uh, Canyon High School. Canyon High School has an aviation program, actually, at the school. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, run by this uh, ex airline pilot. Alright, one more power off stall. So, power 15. White arc, flaps 10. Alright. Alright, and make sure we get an established descent. So if we need to encourage the nose to drop a little bit, let the nose drop a little bit. There's an established descent. You need to descend like you're coming into land. Yep, okay. four more seconds. Alright, cool. Power out. Now we'll go, yep, power all the way out. And we'll pull the nose back. Keep those wings level, yep, point at our point, and pull nose back, nose back, nose back, nose back, 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 keep pulling. Now we really, yeah, I guess that was coming back. There's a stall warning, and back a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more. Oh. And there's the stall, full power. Flaps up a little bit. 
There you go. And neutral. And flaps up a little bit more. And neutral. Now we're really good at positive rate. Air speeds up around 80 there. Uh, and then flaps all the way up. And just keep it from sinking. Like you say? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so what we'll do is we'll just let the nose, yeah, we'll just kind of pitch up for 85 or something like that. So we've got our point, right, about one, two, zero, so, very steep turn. We'll do one to the right first, right's easier. Okay. Current power it. setting and... What's up? Current power setting and everything. Um, what's going to happen is, we're going to roll into a 45 degree bank. 45 on this airplane actually has a little dot there. Okay. Right, it goes 10, 20, 30, and then 45, and 60. Um, and we'll hold about 3,000 feet. But what happens is, what I recommend, how I do it, I roll into that 45 degree bank, I push half the power in. See how much this power is sticking out right now? Push half of it. And and then just pitch, you just have to pitch back just a little bit. Not okay. too much. Alright? There's okay. that point. We'll start turning to the left. Left or right? <laughs> oh, right, 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 right. Yeah, I pointed this way and I told you right. Yeah, go left. No, right, 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 turn. Okay, so start at the bank. Now put in half that power. There you go. Get that turn bank all the way to 45 degrees and then pull back just a little bit. Oh yeah, that's more than you think. Yeah. Alright, so we're sinking a whole lot, so we gotta correct that by pulling back a lot. Yeah. There we go. That's what we wanna see. Oh, yeah. So Way we're kinda looking out here. Look down here. We're climbing a little bit. That's alright, we're low. Get that pitch okay. back a little bit. Back. We're over pitching because we wanna climb. Gotcha. There's our 45, looking outside. Alright, we're almost back to our altitude. There's our point. Start rolling out, roll out, roll out, roll out, power back, power back, power back. There we go. Okay. Power 2000, or even keep it a little higher than 2000, since we're just a tiny bit low. Okay. Yeah, it's a lot more than you think it is. You say 45, but yeah. Yeah, it's a big turn. Okay. Yeah, let's, uh, let's try that again. Left. All right. Exactly. Alrighty. Uh, so start the turn, but get that power in earlier. Get power in, power in. There you go. Bank into it, pull back, you gotta pull back. Oh, yeah. For this turn. Because you're losing your uh, uh, lift vector and turning into a turning vector, right? Pull back a little bit, get to 45. There, we're looking outside. Looking at 45, looking outside. Looking at our out vertical, right? Vertical speed says we're descending, we pull back a little bit. Alright, there's a 45 degree bank, looking outside. Vertical speed says we're about level. Keep that bank going, got a bank. There it is. Maybe pull back a little bit. See how we're low? Pull yeah. back. Gotta pull back a little bit. I think I'm fighting you. It's, it's <laughs> yeah. pull back. Okay. Alright, there's our point. Roll out. Power back. Yeah, you're gonna it's have a, a constant pull. pull. It's a lot of pull. Okay. Alright, power back, power back, power back. Alright, which one do you want to do again? Right or left? Uh, let's go to the right. Okay. Alright, so. Right, so usually earlier, or easier. Alright, power's coming. Alright. Uh, yeah, 640, 3,000 feet, uh, steep turns over Brea Landfill, or Brea Pass, 3,000. There you go. Alright, now pull back. Yep. Gotta pull back. Yep. We're sinking yep. fast. Yep. There you go, there's your 45 degrees. There it is. You gotta feel, feel like you're sinking into your seat almost. Hey, you should. You should yeah. feel 1.75 G-forces at 45 degrees. Okay, now that's a little better. 
kill it. Okay, five unit comes, six five, six four seven. There's our point, start rolling out. Alright. Nice. Alright, wanna go to the left? Sure, we got time for one more. back a little bit more. Alright, start rolling out, roll out, roll out. Let's see, we actually, our yeah, nose is down so we just lost it. Or gained a bunch of airspeed. Okay. Alright. Alright, uh, we're gonna do radio check. Number one should be fine. I'm gonna switch to number two, tell me how it sounds. Alright, and then we'll back out power. Okay, this is number two, do I sound okay? It's a little bit better. It's kind of scratchy, but uh, it's not horrible. Okay, sounds good. Alright, sweet. Last shot better on that one. Yeah. Gotcha. Got a feeling. <laughs> yeah, and that's that's our high performance maneuver, so it's a little bit Okay. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna listen to ATIS. Right? So go ahead and hit COM two, push the button. We'll monitor COM two. Well in tower information, Romeo one nine or five three. Romeo, so it's a little bit different. Three, we should be writing this down. W A R I. Altimeter 29087. Altimeter 29087. Arriving to party runway 24. As weather information available on high watch flight service frequencies, advised on initial contact. And if I use ROM 65647, how is that sound without the engine on? That's uh, loud and clear with the engine on. Romeo 19053. Wind variable at 3, visibility 1. Wind variable, runway 24. 1.15. Altimeter 29 or 87. VR Alpha approaching use, arriving to party runway 24. As this weather information available on high watch flight service frequencies, advise on initial contact you have information, Romeo. Alright. So what we'll do is let's aim at the water treatment plant, right? Here's the Bray landfill, so you can kind of see what's going on here at Bray landfill. Yeah. And um, here's the water treatment plant. We're going to call Fullerton Tower. Fullerton Tower, because so that's what frequency we're on. 64460, Cessna 64460. Water treatment plant. Inbound to land, Romeo. So if you want to practice it once you can, if you want to hit the button, go ahead. They know we're training, they know you're going to make mistakes. Where's the field in reference? Um, oh, we get to the water treatment plant, and then we turn heading 240. So 240 is going to be Fullerton. There's our 91 freeway that you don't go south of because that's uh, Charlie Airspace. Okay. Okay. Fullerton Tower. Fullerton Tower, Cessna 64460 over the water treatment plant inbound to land. With Romeo. With Romeo. 60 zero for traffic, execute a right 360. Traffic ahead and to your left is a Cessna on the localizer at 2500. Make a right 360 now. Right 360. Right 360 for 64460. Oh, I guess the localizer works? Yeah, I know, I, I was reading that. Uh, information on Romeo, I'd like to uh, depart over to Catalina. Wow! Oh, uh, Tower, for takeoff. He was at 2,500, so we're not too, too worried about it, but... Yeah, let's do a little right 360. Zero 93 zero in November, traffic, a helicopter departing at Charlie. Looking for the traffic, zero in November. Four ten Tower, Skyhawk 6350, Papa's on the localizer, 24. November 6350, Papa, forward in Tower, number two, following a Piper Arrow on the VOR, crossing midfield, runway 24, clear to land. Number two behind the piper, clear to land, 2450, Papa. So we're following a SP-172. So, here's uh... Yeah, zero in November, you're number one, really 24, clear to land. Chino Hills is over there. Two four, 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 That's kind of Diamond Bar underneath our wing back here. This is your one, though. So once we get here, we'll turn heading 240. And I'm going to start teaching the localizer again. Localizer is rad. Um, it is a beam that shoots off of the runway, and it tells you if you're left or right of the runway. Awesome. You don't have to tune in anything here. We can put 2-4 just as a reference, but we know that the runway is a little bit south of us. Alright, sir. Uh, 
two four. Two four zero. Yeah. And what we'll do is we'll turn like two three two one. Let's hold two one zero until that comes in. Five one seven, runway two four, taxi to the Alpha. Skyhawk six three five zero, Papa, runway two four, clear to land number two. And number two, five zero, Papa. And number one, traffic is turning final. Number one, five zero, Papa. November 64460, you're number three, your traffic to follow is a Skyhawk passing the 57 freeway, altitude indicates 2000, make straight in, runway 24, clear to land. Clear to land, 24. Clear to land, straight in for 64460. Like, 24, so you don't have to click it again, but runway, tail number. Just a Christian, you said 460, straight in. Yeah, I don't know, you can check the tapes. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so, now we'll see how the localizer came in. Yep. Now we'll turn heading 240, and, and there's that. our airport. Yep. Okay. Basically, if the water treatment plant is kind of underneath our right wheel, Cal State Fullerton's uh, stadium goes underneath your left wheel. Yep. And then those two towers go underneath the right wheel, that takes us straight in. Yeah. Hey, Cal State Fullerton, their uh, football team's undefeated since 1976. But heck, if you like baseball, they, oh yeah, uh, baseball. It's it's great watching their games because <laughs> we dominate. Four, tower, tower, seven, hold short of two, four, four, right like being a Yankees fan or something, you know. Two, four, right down <laughs> you you can go to playoffs. Two, four, clear for Dallas. Zero, zero, zero in November. Taxi park. Taxi park. Zero in November. I like the 2,500 water treatment plant, 2,000 at Cal State, 1,400 at those two towers. Those two towers, those are on Harper Boulevard. Alright, so you want 1,400 there? Yeah. 5 and 9 reverse course? Yeah. Always yeah, we'll been like uh, Cal State Fullerton. Parking past does not mean you'll get parking. Oh no. Look at that mess. <laughs> the ace up my sleeve was, my dad worked at Troy High School, and my mom worked at the College of Optometry. I just park at Troy High School. Oh, uh, there you go. <laughs> the parking pass? 250 bucks or something like that? Oh, uh, 350 now. 350. Yeah, 650, you're number three. Your traffic to follow is a Skyhawk on a four and a half mile final. Hey, number three, looking for traffic, HP-52. Is that going to be us, probably? Yeah. Not, yeah. Yeah, so CHP will follow us. Do they usually take the runway and then kind of just... Hey, yeah, um, even the helicopters, they, they issue runway clearances. Since the taxis are really close, they... Power back a little bit. There you go. And what we'll do is we'll trim the nose up a little bit, put us in the white arc. CHP 50 additional traffic, 1 to coming 12 o'clock, 2 and a half miles. Assessment turning right down one for a right down one departure, climbing through out seat indicates 1,100. Good sight, maintain visual CHP 50. November 9459, that's traffic for you as well. Assessment turning into the right downwind on a right down one departure, climbing through out seat indicates now 1,200. Alright, in the way, hey, like the traffic And then just past the um, St. Jude. So this is St. Jude Medical Hospital here. Okay. And, um, yeah, he's the one down the park for 5-9. Remember 5-9-9-9? No, we're right on it. In the right, right downwind. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's what they're climbing. Traffic is, uh, we'll call it 1 o'clock at about 2 miles. Alright, so look at 5-9-9, thank you. Supply will we'll do is go 1,500. In the white arc? 7 o'clock, 8 o'clock. Eastbound, I'll make sure we're solid white. Alright, there we go. There you go. Hey, look for that traffic spot coming. Traffic is turning Five zero Papa, say intentions. Back to back two four five zero Papa. November five zero Papa Roger. If you can't make the next taxiway, turn left. If you can, turn right. Us, we're taxing back to General Lee. We're not gonna make it. Five zero Papa Roger. Left turn at Foxtrot then. Left turn Foxtrot five zero Papa. CHP five zero. Your traffic to follow is on a mile and a half final. Only two four clear to land number two. Hey, looking for traffic. Yeah, good thing he's got lots of room. 
November 904599 right, traffic so uh, previously issued. Then we'll do another notch of flaps. Uh, yeah. Northeast Thank you. Supply 17, this is traffic. Yeah. 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 This guy yeah. loves yeah. clearing you, yeah. like, you know, by 25 miles away. CHP 50 on final traffic at site, maintain visual. CHP 50, number right, 2, runway 24, clear to land. Alright, 75 is perfect. Number 5, Sierra Papa, runway 24, taxi. 75, 65 over the departure request. 24 via Alpha, request tower route, Camarillo, 172, uh, golf. Absolutely, yeah, we got one red, we'll do one more left. Oh, we're only, only 15 degrees flaps, we're only going to do one more flaps. Five sure, Papa, welcome. Go flaps. Alright, perfect. There we go, perfect. Alright. Now we got three reds, I like three reds. So, we'll give it a little bit of power. And then let's just do a last notch of flaps. Two, three. All right, five zero, Papa. Your uh, clearance is available. Okay, so our airspeed's a little right. bit on the low side. We'll keep the nose down. All right, here's over the fence. Power comes out. And then now we'll start pulling nose back, nose back, nose back, nose back, nose back. Nose back, 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 nose and 460, we track that sucker in too. I love it. Copy. Right. We going here? And then we'll turn left here. Alright, so. Always light on the brakes. So people love putting flat spots on the street. Parking via Alpha. Parking via Alpha. Par Did you say that or am Parking via Alpha. Parking via Alpha for 64460. Alright, so. Traditionally, I'm not saying a word. I'm not going to push or whatever. I just heard you say it, so I don't know if you're yeah. going to be here. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. All right, so we're here. Lights, camera, action. We'll turn our lights off. Yeah. Camera's 1,200. Action. Flaps up. So I just flap those up. Know. And I usually... my Oh, and we'll turn right here. Um, my uh, mechanic yells at me for uh, not leaning out. So he wants us to lean out during taxi. Oh, so now all my airplanes are on the ground. <laughs> I got that spot right there in between us and 238 for a 150 uh, or 182. Uh, should have a 182 soon. Need your one foot in tower, runway 24, clear for takeoff. Alright, so we'll s let's sneak over to the left a little bit. 526 foot in ground, runway 24, runner period, taxi via Alpha. And hard right. So you're just getting it to know. Delivery 904 5 and uh, 9 or 9 or you're going to do the same thing. Uh, Fireman, we've got about three miles left in steel course reversal. Got me. Alright, perfect. And then uh, avionics off and then mixture, bags, master. space yeah in terms of just knowing knowing that you know what you're doing like I remember telling him that I was uh, cleared flanning but it was so far back that I was like and and that's what Fullerton does Fullerton will clear you the you know, freaking 20 miles out that's just what they do they do. like to give you straight ins if you're over there oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah always Oh, you'll always get it straight in. So just a little flight review here. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this uh, flight. Just a few things that I wanted to touch up on. Um, there was a few times on my radio communications that I slipped up a few times. Uh, I'm just not used to dealing with control, the tower, reading back instructions. Um, so it's just something that we'll work on. Another thing on maneuvers is uh, on my steep turns. I just need to add a little more back pressure to uh, maintain that or uh, maintain altitude so just something that I work on uh, so you know first time so uh, we'll just practice on that and uh, I just figure we'll uh, do flight reviews and just kind of touch up on what we uh, could do better and uh, what we could do well so um, with that being said let's go and uh, look at my logbook here all right guys and as we can see here we did get one hour from that flight all right guys so this is just a generalization of the kind of route that we did so right here we see Fullerton Airport. Uh, so this is KFUL down here in the left. And what we did was departed from runway 24. 
so we went out of here, made a right downwind departure, and we flew kind of over here into this area. This is the Hacienda Golf Club that you heard us talk about, or heard Garrett uh, talk about. So that's that, and we kind of flew around in this area here. This is kind of our practice area, the La Habra practice area, as you can see right here. And then eventually, once we did all of our maneuvers in this area, we went ahead and flew approximately over to here. And this is that water treatment plant that uh, we flew our approach over. So what we did was kind of flew it over here, did that right 360, and then that set us up for a heading of 24, which put us in for a straight in approach to runway 24 right here for landing. So there's the our general layout of what we did. All right, guys, with that being said, hopefully you guys enjoyed that video. As always, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know in the comments what you did think about that video. This is a new series for us, uh, for me, for you. So uh, just let me know what you think about it. I know the flights are gonna be long. Um, I'm trying to you know capture the training aspect of um, flight training. So that's why the videos are gonna be a little longer. Hopefully once I do uh, get a private pilot's license, hopefully then the flights will kind of shorten down and just uh, kind of include the coolest parts of a flight. So with that being said, guys, like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching and uh, have a great day.